if you all walk on August first, what sort of how functional do you think this facility? Will oh, they be? would be they would be terrified. <laughs> they be they be kicked in. A, oh, excuse me, I'm, yo, yo, I'm good. yo, they be they be done. They be done. No, no, seriously. You gotta realize we we all the all the stuff that goes on in the in the city and around the country. It comes here mostly before it goes out anywhere else. We 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 sort in the average 18 million packages and, and put out to people every day. So you, what you think? 360,000 Teamsters at UPS are gearing up to go on the largest strike at a single company in U.S. history. We all know our UPS drivers. They're the ones that get our packages delivered every day to our doorstep. But not everyone knows about the work that goes on behind the scenes to get those packages delivered. We're here at the second largest air hub in the country in Philadelphia, and for the last two days, we've been talking to workers who have been telling us how they're overworked, underpaid, harassed, and disrespected. This is the invisible workforce that UPS doesn't want you to know about. On the average, we can, we can move at least two to 3,000 packages a day. That's just, that's me working sort. That's you. Just sort, yeah. yeah. You know, but you talk about the whole hub, you talk about millions. You have four shoots, yeah. millions of boxes coming at you, you know? Yeah. These big boxes that people take and try to take up the steps and take their time and breathe and bring up, we have to move it under a second. Yeah. And you can't feel the weight. You have to consistently move that package as yeah. if it was the last package. From eight o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night, yeah. That's my life right here, UPS. Yes. yes. And, and you <laughs> have- like We live here. Huh? You have kids? I have no kids. But I can't have kids. You can't have kids? No. Because you're working so, so crazy <laughs> But you want kids, you want a family. Oh, I want a family everything. Yeah. yeah. How's they, your they body take, holding up? <laughs> I'm crippled, bro. On any given day, from the preload shift at 4 a.m. to the midnight shift at 11 p.m., a combined 3,000 workers come to work at this facility and are responsible for shipping up to a million packages a day. Despite the tremendous workload, UPS has shown little to no concern for the safety of the workers. In fact, multiple workers have actually died on the job while working at the Philadelphia Air Hub. I I'm not going to say they don't care about our safety a lot. <laughs> but what I want to say is they, they care about it when it benefits them. Perfect example, uh, God rest her soul. Oh, oh. Uh, somebody died. In the building. In the building. Like somebody literally Listen. got smashed up. I'm Literally. not getting details about it, but me and him work on the e rec book. I've been here 15 going on 16 years. Yeah. And I pulled the, uh, the button. I never heard that damn alarm came on. I never heard that alarm come on yeah. throughout my 15, 16 years. That that was the first thing I thought was weird. Then they started fixing dryers. And then it then they actually started preaching safety. I was like, y'all wait until somebody died to do that? That's bullshit. Right? A young man ended up passing away in a the can. They told the employees to work around him to get the can out. It's a whole body there and you have to now work around him. As it was stated earlier, the young lady that passed away upstairs, they had to build him back up in about an hour or two. While we were at the Air Hub, the UPS counter proposal on wages was leaked. The Teamsters described the offer as appalling and walked out of bargaining that same day. It was a declaration of war by the company. They're proposing from 2023 to 2027, 55, 55, 55, 60, 60, 60. A year increases. Carol told me though, 19 million. She was, she's not getting 50 cents. She's not, <laughs> <laughs> she would make a, she should make a counter proposal for uh, the salary of Carol told me. <laughs> 55 cents. Wow. Yeah. What would you do with 55 cents? I can't, you know? I can't live up for that. I could barely live off what I'm making now. I mean, what what would you do with an extra 55 cents uh, in an hour? Same thing that yeah, we're doing, doing with now. To add insult to injury, the vast majority of the Philly Air Hub workers are part-time, and many are forced to work second or even third jobs. These are the package handlers who load, unload, and sort thousands of packages a day each, without whom UPS would cease to function. Although UPS advertises 25 hours a week for part-timers, they're only guaranteed between three and three and a half hours a day and are often told to go home early by supervisors, despite being understaffed. Just think about that. Some workers are commuting longer than they're on the clock. 
60% of UPS's total workforce are part-timers, some of whom have worked at UPS for decades and still haven't been offered full-time positions. One of the other parts of their leaked counter-proposal on economics was that they will not create any more full-time jobs. Nobody put in decades worth of work, decades worth of their time. Some put in their adult life yeah. just to stay at a company and stay part-time. Yeah. Nobody does that. Is it by choice or you want to be full-time? Of course, I would want to be full-time. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we don't even get no money. You can't pay no mortgage or nothing with this job. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's like you're working for peanuts. On top of all this, workers at the Philly Air Hub who are predominantly black face racist discrimination and harassment. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I was yeah. being followed because I'm black. I actually asked other drivers that are, that are not black why they're being followed, and they said no. So... They even trained the security guards here, kick the wall. Why am I kicking the wall? So if I stub my toe, now I'm hurt. Kick the wall? Kick the wall. Let's see, you got packages on the Oh, are you serious? Yeah. They feel as though if you are dressed a certain way now, they have to watch you or watch your area because they are, they feel yeah. as though you might be stealing something. It's an open package. Yeah. Then whoever's in that area, nine times out of 10, it was a black man. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, it was a black man. Yeah. This is why UPS workers voted in overwhelming numbers to authorize a strike. If the company doesn't agree to a fair contract by July 31st, all 360,000 UPS Teamsters will walk off the job and bring the massive shipping giant to a screeching halt. UPS ships about 3% of the entire world's GDP every day. Unless UPS executives and shareholders who have never moved a single package in their lives think they're gonna waltz on down to the air hub and move 3% of the world's GDP, they're in for a rude awakening. It's obvious that it's workers, not the executives that make UPS run. So this begs the question, why do the billionaire executives reap all the benefits? We make this country run. I can honestly say we make this world run because we deliver across the seas. We deliver to every country in this world. So yeah, when this video goes out, I think people are actually gonna be shocked to hear the different stories. They, they don't see the harassment. They see the nice UPS driver come up, put their package on their porch and drive off. They didn't notice was that there was a whole supervisor following that package car driver. What they didn't see was is that that one package that actually got delivered on that day that young lady passed, that there was a young lady that actually passed. But this company as a whole doesn't respect its hourlies. It doesn't respect its employees. It barely respects its management. It doesn't respect the people that actually put in the work to actually make it $11 billion, $113 billion. We're making this company look so good and we can't, the, the bare minimum of what we're asking is just give us respect. <laughs>